<laughs> I mean, what are you doing? You didn't even have to say that. But, but see, Prof, how do you read this? Because we know there's no we. And a lot of times we know that the we that we call we is formed in reaction to something that becomes so offensive to what we should That's see true. as a collective that it drives yeah. us into a collective. That metaphor we always talk about, the lash. This, this, this thing with Kyrie, I'm watching and I'm looking at the comments, looking on social media. People not feeling this crucifixion. No, nah, and it was it was easy until this, right? I was right. Like, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. He this 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 documentary is problematic. No question. Period. But why is it on Amazon? Why is it why why is everybody able to, you know, if it's problematic, it should not be accessible. And okay. why is it so expensive? I looked on there and I'm I, saying, I, I have not like, even clicked on it. So no, I, I, cl I clicked to see. It was like okay. $30 a stream or something. I said, oh, oh, y'all really? getting ready. Oh, this is profiteering. Oh, so uh -huh. profiteering now. Go ahead, Bezos, because you can't be canceled because you on the team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, 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 you know, I, I don't spend a whole lot of time on this. I, you know, I try to use it as like touch points to yeah. get into other things. But and that's, that's what we're doing. We're not we're not involved in the thing. That's right. That's right. Because because the reality is, you know, the, the goal is to be impenetrable. The goal is to be on, you know, to have your own situation, not, you know, against. I'm like, focus on building. I'm not focusing on these people and what they're doing and what they're not doing and what they're not letting us do. To your point, Dr. Carr, like, uh, oh, no, you don't have to let me do anything. Right. I'm. But yeah. see, the, the problem we live in. And I'm, I'm, wait, and, and we shouldn't, like, we're, right now we're sitting in Nubia Alive. This wasn't built in reaction to anything other than oh. having conversations every every single week with you and saying 139 consecutive Saturdays. We need a place where we can build that vision that W.B. Du Bois had, that 100-year plan. We don't even have a 100-year plan. Let's develop the 100-year plan. Let's put a space together where we can actually come in, imagine what the world should look like, Yes. Years after we're not here, and I'm like Alexandria, you know, the library there. Do we have one of those? No, we got the Schomburg. Do we own the Schomburg? No. no. All right. You even said at some point somebody can flip a switch. All right. All of the books, they're already banning them. Where do we come to have collective That's right. works and, and have places where we can store our intellectual property, where we can uh, un, unfettered and unbothered? actually consider what the world should look like not because of racism right. not, not because because we've always been great this 400 year period is an anomaly in our history so let's lean into all right what did we do a thousand years before that that's right let's get back to that let's remember yes they've separated us from our memory we can remember because no, there's enough of us just like people dropping stuff in the chat all right you got a bits and pieces let's put together Jeez this tapestry and make it work. This is not a response to anything. This is I what Blacks and Antiquity said, working against the social structure is exhausting. Working for the governance structure is energizing and empowering. Yes, yes. So no, 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 there it is. I mean, and, uh, I suppose we do owe it to ourselves in this moment before the U.S. federal elections on midterm elections, so-called midterm elections on Tuesday. You say, what can we do? And I know that in Pepper's book, He's just got a, 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 a few things. The, the federal, see the federal law, the federal legislation, federal, the federal government can pass legislation and enforce it. So if you want things to change a little, give some cover to state and local folk and prevent other state and local elected officials from interfering with you in ways that impact your daily life. That means we need to elect enough people in the federal legislature, House and Senate, to create enough of a majority, particularly in the Senate, to pass the John Lewis Act, to pass the For the People Act, to pass the George Floyd Act. These are not silver bullets, but they're better than what's going to come if you don't do it. And to blow up the filibuster. Joe Manchin can no longer hold people hostage. Kristen Sinema, who didn't even come when Biden was in Arizona last uh, this past week, uh, they can't hold you hostage if you vote for Mandela Barnes. In, well, I mean, I'm going to go no, nonpartisan. If you vote for people who have pledged to implement policy that will enhance not only your life, but all human beings' lives. Eight of the 12 states that have not expanded Medicaid are in the old, I, to say, I keep calling it the old Confederacy, I'm sorry. Eight of the 12 states that have, uh, have refused to expand Medicaid are in the Confederacy. They're still the Confederacy, and they're very proud to be Confederacy. 
you know, all of their songs, I don't care what their, what their state songs are, all of their songs collectively begin with the uh, letter O. Oh, I wish I were in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. Eight of the 12 states are in Dixie. Oh, I wish I were in Dixie. Hooray, hooray in Dixieland. I'll take my stand to live and die in Dixie. There's one small change in that. To die and die in Dixie with no damn health care, you stupid. Anyway, the point is, at the federal level, you can expand Medicaid all you want, but then at the state level, you've got to deal with governors like a Stacey Abrams who would expand Medicaid. So I'm going to get this billion dollars that we go. I'm going to get that dance. That's our money. That's your tax money. Uh, at the federal level, you got to elect for people who will enforce federal corruption laws. Somebody need to go to jail. Lil Lynn, Lil Lynn Graham, mm. Trump, somebody need to go to jail. And he talks about this. And you talked about this, Prof, with Pam Keefe, our friend Pam Keefe, uh, a couple of weeks ago. You know, Nubia functions as uh, a think tank. It's organic in the sense that it is inward out. But as Pam says, y'all were saying you need policy making think tanks. Now we have some. We certainly have Leisha Conference on Civil Rights, uh, Melanie Campbell, Black Women's Roundtable. There are a number of them. They are even disaggregated by age sometimes. I think about Alicia Garza and them, what they're doing, you know, some of this poll work and, you know, uh, you know, some of this stuff that people are doing that can translate into policy. Well, this is a place where we can apply some of the our ideas to shaping those other places, color of change. I'm thinking about all these different operations where we need a more coordinated effort and it would be nice to have a hardcore old school tink thing i think about my man uh spencer overton who's just now uh announced that he's uh transitioning from the joint center that was started in the 1970s uh eddie williams and that crew uh, but anyway we need to develop that type of capacity now at the state level what does it look like run somebody for every district it ain't got to be a Democrat or a Republican. When you run people, you're doing more than running people for elective office. You're organizing. Mm -hmm. Organizing is at the state level. I think about, you know, Aya Nelly, I who thank you Aya, for saying that. And by the way, is it anti-Semitic to call the Igbo the Jews of Africa? I wouldn't ask that question to a black person. I would ask it to the people who are calling Kyrie Irving anti-Semitic. That would be a good, I just got a question, Rabbi, just question. Is it anti-Semitic to call the Igbo the, the Jews of Africa? The, the, the answer might be, I speculate now, but answer, oh, I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. So you don't know about the black Jews. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I'm not talking about the Ethiopian Jews in Israel. I'm talking about the people who are Jewish all over the uh, world, including this. Well, I assume you know Malika's Jewish, right? But I'm talking about, see the cameraman? Yeah, he's Jewish too. Did you know? Yeah, no, he's, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Do you know about them? Oh, so you didn't know. So uh, my original question, is it? anti-Semitic to call. In fact, when you say Semitic, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But the point is that you could run run somebody at every district. Run for those school board offices. I mean, as I said, I, as I was about to mention, ran for school board in her community. You know, I mean, you know, run for school board because you're, you're, you're raising issues people because these moms for liberty, they ain't even got no kids in the damn district, but they funded by billionaires to jack your kids up. Glenn Youngkin shut down the hotline in Virginia, y'all. Because he wasn't getting the calls he was trying to get. Some of y'all called there talking about your baby been traumatized because Harry Tubman ain't in the curriculum. What a beautiful thing. And that's what you can do if you never run for office. Organize. So when they pass these crazy laws, run them in the street. Run them buck crazy. And if they show out with the tiki torches, there's a role for those of you who want to get that kind of action to let it. But I'm going to say less and uh, say everybody stay safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Keith has been invited. So we're going to come in. Okay. We're talking about creating like the Federalist Society, the Onyx Society. Let's let's Whoa. you know I mean, there's opportunities here to there's a think tank for you. Yeah, the Onyx Society, where yeah. you know, instead of putting uh activist judges on the courts, we put activist judges on the courts <laughs> that, that yeah. care about justice and equity and you know, rights for all, and you know, uh Yes. 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 So, yeah, Pam Keith uh, will be coming, and we have to really shape what that class looks like because, you know, I don't want it to be unwieldy, you know, and there's a lot of excitement and passion around doing it, but it's the the, the drum beat, it's the foundation laying, it's you know, 
if you think about this affirmative action case, this man failed with the Texas one. Since yeah, yeah. That, that that child yeah, uh, talk about, you know, I'm uh, they they being prejudiced against me because I'm white, and they threw it out. But he Sarah, look, look, Sarah Fisher ass didn't even have the GPA to be in the group that she was being. Yeah. I stood there and watched Ed Blum and Sarah Fisher on a, and behind the podium on the steps of the Supreme Court the day they was arguing the case. I'm looking at her like you wasn't even qualified to begin, right? But he failed with that one. I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt, but yeah, go no, ahead. He failed no, with that no. one. Then what he do? Didn't quit. Didn't quit. No, nope. kept going. A Come decade on. later, here Come we are, on. and it's going to be overturned. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. But I tell you what, though, might be a good thing. I don't know if you talked to Angie yet. I missed that. Did you call it? No, did you I talk haven't. I you? haven't, but I need yeah. to Look, bring her back. I, I'm trying to be respectful of her. No, 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 no. no. That, one, that one, yeah. I talked to her and Belithia Watkins. We did we did our hour just having a conversation. But y'all should talk because there was so much more to say. She, you know, she sat there through all five and a half hours. Angie and Porter. So she, oh, she no. Was. She's a beast. No question. She went through that whole thing. And Katanji Brown Jackson and Sonia Sotomayor, what they're doing, ironically, is kind of what uh, uh, Thurgood Marshall ended up having to do by the end of the Burger Court because he would interview clerks and his question was, are you ready to write dissents? In other words, I know that I'm not going to win, but I'm laying this for the future. Kataji Brown Jackson, you talk about, look, all you white nationalists, I know some of y'all be looking and we're very glad. Come on in, let's dance. The um, She's a strict construction. She's an originalist. She took the 14th Amendment all the way and she said, wait a minute, so if I can't, and some sort of yours said this too, so if a, if somebody's applying and they don't they can't say they're black and they're the first black to be this and that, doesn't that give an advantage to the white people? They they expose standing for whiteness. There's no answer. Clarence Thomas, who I enjoyed him so thoroughly, he talks so much this one because I think we think he's going to be the one to write the opinion. He he was put on there in '91 to write the opinion. What's the irony of the one person on the court that actually got there because of affirmative action. <laughs> He and Amy Coney Barrett. No question. No question. But what you said, exactly. But what you said about an hour ago, I think rings very true. I, 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 this is why Corey Robbins' book, The Enigma of Clarence Thomas, is so important. I think Clarence Thomas thinks he's helping black people. Because <laughs> see, here's the thing he didn't say that I expect to be in the opinion. When they end affirmative action, why aren't you black people building up your HBCUs? See, this is the thing. Over half, not way over half, most of the people who go to college in the United States of America do not go to schools where race is used as a factor in admissions. No HBCU uses race. No community college uses race. I doubt Hunter College uses race. So Howard and Hunter don't use race. The, the schools that use race, many of those schools are in the, in the replication of the manager class in this country, the Ivy League schools. So their, their demographic is geared towards something because they're reproducing the manager class. This is a battle of elites. Mm. Clarence Thomas has always had a resentment of the elites. This is what Corey Robin is writing about. He says, that's why I embrace Malcolm X. So it's very interesting to me. When they abolish affirmative action, it ain't going to bop. The only thing it's going to affect at Howard is some of them kids who dreamed their whole life to go to Harvard will now put Howard as a safety school. If they don't get in, they come into Howard. And then I got more work to do because this is the kid <laughs> who didn't want to come here. And I'm telling you right now, thank God we are in this space because I don't know how many more years I got left. And rather than argue with a bunch of 18 to 22 year olds that blackness means something a different way, let's much rather expand that conversation to the African world and continue in that space. But see, this is why I think, and this is why Angie was walking through it. As she, and then when she got into Kagan and they're talking about all these questions of standing, it that case was a great demonstration, the oral arguments of this simple fact. We can count. There it is. That's all the three words you need. Well, the arguments they're making, no, 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 no. We can count. We got six. We got six. We can run a ball. We will run a Boston. And finally, I should say this. If and when they win the Congress back, and the Senate back, and if they win the presidency, watch for this. They could expand the Supreme Court. Then they won't be against expanding the court because the real argument for expanding the Supreme Court is one of the basic arguments is you should have the number of Supreme Court should reflect the number of judicial circuit courts. So if they put it up in the teens, 13 or 14, well, you think 63 is bad? <laughs> Add another five or six to three. And let them appoint all them. See, we're going to find out who these people are. We're going to F around and find out. Tuesday might be the day we F around and find out. And then in 2020, we need to, it's too late now. You lost that in 2022, November the 8th. 
All right. Well, passports too, uh, y'all, because you know, I always, passports, right. I always believe in being prepared. Right. <laughs> so. Well, before, before they pass a law to say the passport's no good, go back to World War One, the Palmer raids. Go back. In fact, there's a brand new book. I won't even go and get it. Uh-huh. It's writing about World War One. This ain't even the worst fashion has been. And remember, Hitler and Mussolini were elected. See, this is how it starts. <laughs> so they get rid. They, they'll neutralize those passports. Ask Paul Robeson and W. B. Du Bois about their passports, or S. C. Robeson and Shirley Graham about their passports. Yeah. And don't leave Spain out of it, because it wasn't just Hitler and Mussolini. Spain that's also right. had a, I mean, it was it was a, a domino like there is now. Franco, no question. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly so, right. So, yeah, we're in a particular time. Yes, Cause, yes. Because life is a circle, y'all. It is a circle. Oh, it right. is a circle. Wow. Yeah, and you're right, you're right. Wow. Get your passport now. Look, everybody's saying passport's up. Love you. Love you, too. Be safe. Hey, hey, we'll see you in a minute. Oh uh, yeah, I'll see you on Monday and I'll see you on Sunday too. But I'm I, I I erroneously said I was hosting last Monday, but it's actually this Monday with you. Uh in you have a good time. Oh, by the way, y'all know the homework is uh the article What Black Studies Is Not. It's in narrative and newbie. It's been posted Monday was fire. I'll be uh responding in the chat to some things that were raised on Monday night. We went up over two thousand and we're growing. So those you don't know what we're talking about, uh we're gonna say less at this point. But you can ask somebody uh, <laughs> as we're getting out Twitter. I'm loving these people who are getting out Twitter. <laughs> how getting out Twitter. So how are you going to say you're getting out Twitter on Twitter? Or you could just get off. Oh, just, just leave. Put the church. Just, there. just go. I, I'm not going to stay there because my Twitter space is beautiful. Um, I right. just added Elon Musk was like, it's going to be $8. I was like, how much you pay for your blue check? How much you pay for yours? Somebody said forty-four billion. I was like, that's about right. How about that? I ain't paying nothing for mine because I ain't got one. So no, and that's why you know it's not valid. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't care nothing about no blue check. I, well, actually, I do have. I got a red, black, and green check in Nubia. That's right. That's no right. Blue. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Let me see everybody 